look at this fairy house happiness that mom has been coming up with. I just love it. Are you kidding me? Oh, <gasps> so, so excited about this. You and me, babe. You and me, babe. Ready to go. So we've been having a great time um, hanging out in the studio and there's been a lot going on. So, um, I'm going to, I'll probably do a little time lapse um, today so you can kind of see what's going on. But look how fantastic these are. And I mean, come on now. Great job, Mom. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>
So this is the first time I've ever used this place, but check out the wax. Waxed over the top of the glaze. It shouldn't be doing that. It's doing it right there. Huh. Interesting. So that's not supposed to happen. Um. Yeah. So here's the other one. Not as bad. Not as bad. You know, I'm sorry, Mr. Glaze, if you're going to be this fussy, then I'm just going to take your colorants and put you into a non-fussy base and see what happens. Because that's the whole point of making your own glazes, is that they're not fussy. See how, see how that one's rolled down? I mean, it's like a chocolate curl right there. I am very thankful that none of my other glazes seem to be doing this. I'm also thankful that it is, you know, as long as you don't put wax on it, it's fine. So, I mean, there's a certain level of, um, it does seem to be a bit powdery and it's easy, like, when you touch it. Um, however, watch this, this is cool. When that dries, so this is just spray starch, like you would use if you ever ironed your stuff, your clothes. If it has to be ironed, just don't buy it. That's what my mommy taught me. Okay, so that took a minute to dry, but it's dry now. And I can touch it, and nothing comes off on my fingers. I don't know what would have caused this. I talked to mom asking her about applications and stuff like that and she said she felt like maybe the fir first few or, or a couple might have been a little heavy handed but I'm looking at this and this does not feel, I mean it is not a heavy handed piece of wax. This is, it's not. And um, with it, with the glaze coming off on my fingers like that, like I just showed you, uh, this was not a gla uh, wax application thing, but I didn't even know wax was capable of doing such a thing, peeling up like that. I mean... Learn something new every day. So there you go. Grateful thing number three. <laughs> Still learning. Stop learning. Stop living, y'all. Stop learning. Stop living. So here's to continuing to learn. Right now, I am learning that my body is a mosquito feast. There everywhere out here and I think I just need to I was gonna do a draw studio day today but apparently it's not in the cards however it's date night so Superman's taking me out tonight and I can go in and make brownies For once, I can get, I can be, I can be Superman's superhero. <laughs> Mom, you had to go home. But we got so much done. Oh my gosh. Ugh. She dug me out of the hole, y'all. She totally killed it. She is a 
fairy house making beasts. I'm trying to get everything organized as far as glazing is concerned. And I feel like I have a few too many irons in the fire right now. Um, but I also feel like I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. So thankful for mom coming. So thankful for mom. glaze shavings and all the stuff that's sitting on the table right now. Sometimes you just can't. 